yeah, this is, uh, they are panicking. They're panicking now, which is a good thing. This, oh, this right here. Uh, uh, good afternoon. I want to welcome these leaders for coming in to have this very important discussion um, about some of the most pressing issues of our time. Um, I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. There we go. And um, now, uh, good just in general, if you hear that and that makes you mad, there's something wrong with you. No question. Like, if you hear her say those things and that makes you mad, you're a piece of shit. But this wasn't even just like a normal meeting. This was a meeting with the Americans with Disabilities Act, okay? Celebrating the Americans with Disabilities Act. Harris was describing what she looked like for low vision and blind people. But RNC research over here, I'm Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I'm a woman sitting at a table wearing a blue suit as if this is some, there's something wrong with this. She's being accommodating to disabled people. But of course, like Mixable said, Republicans are not going to take their side. They're, they're not going to be accommodating to disabled people. But it's like I, even if this had nothing to do with the Americans with Disabilities Act, if you hear her say this stuff and that makes you mad, you fucking suck. You're the worst. You're probably going to have a hard time making friends, finding a partner. Because you care about the dumbest shit. We love Venn diagrams. Here we go. See, earlier, earlier when that person was saying she talks in circles, I was thinking they were going to bring this clip up. And I was going to clown them on this clip any, anyway. It's like, bro. Come on. But the, when they were saying she talks in circles, I literally was waiting for them to post this clip. And when I said, give me examples, I was waiting for them to post this. You know, I like Venn diagrams. Okay, so if you look, I do. You remember Venn diagrams, those three circles, right? And then let's just see where they overlap. I Barred out of her mind right there. She's on Xanax, dude. And then let's just see where they overlap. I love just Venn diagrams, okay? <laughs> I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> I just love Venn diagrams. You know the three circles, right? Sometimes yeah, more. the three circles. I yeah. love Venn diagrams. <laughs> and like, you know, but the, the thing is, is like, Republicans are using this to like try to hurt her, and it's like what a compilation of her laughing. You think that makes her look bad? A compilation of her laughing a bunch. It's endearing. Yeah, exactly. It's like, how do you look at somebody laughing in every single clip and be like, wow, <laughs> bad choice. I really do. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> you know, the, the three circles, sometimes there are more. He sees the Venn diagram of it all. He sees that there are those circles <laughs> and maybe people seem that they're a little different. They live in different parts of the country. They may be different age or different race. But that this area is, in the this middle. This is that uh, Don Lemon right here. He's like, she's not in her prime. This is Kamala Harris just not in her prime anymore <laughs> as a woman. Not in her prime. That's what got him fired from CNN, by the way was like commenting on another woman saying she wasn't in her prime anymore. Overlap. I happen to love Venn diagrams. Yes. You know, those Venn three circles. Oh, I have constructed a Venn diagram on this. Remember those three circles, how they overlap? I love Venn diagrams. I just like, just throw it into a Venn diagram. I'll tell you everything you need to know about any issue, especially where there is, you know, you're trying to understand the intersection and the connections, right? So I, I brought props. I just have two. So and so I'd way rather have a compilation of my president talking about Venn diagrams than talking about like mass deportations or, or immigrants being rapists. I'd way rather a compilation of this than that. No question. With me. Venn diagram. Yeah, those three circles <laughs> sometimes more. <laughs> when you look at a diagram of the, uh, it, just a Venn diagram in that regard, it, it tells yeah, you. Yeah, when that person said that earlier, I was just so hoping that they would post this clip, but they didn't. Tail. Here's my Venn diagram. Oh, we have a Venn diagram. <laughs> <laughs> props. I love it. I love it. I brought props. <laughs> she is so barred out, dude. The, those Xanax that Judah Boy talks about selling in, in his music video, Gucci Mane, White Mink, were going directly to the Kamala Harris campaign. Okay? Well, let me just say, I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> I really love Venn diagrams. You know, the circles, right? 
anyway. But we didn't get that clip. We got somebody saying, she's a teacher, and that's bad. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that was hilarious. She talks like a teacher. Okay. Like, I get the understanding of saying somebody is talking condescending, but, like, putting teacher before that, it's not helping. Um, Kellyanne, she does not speak well. She does not work hard. Uh, she should not be the standard bearer for the party. They are fucking losing it right now. They are terrified. She had disastrous staff turnover as vice president. I check it on the daily. Her public schedule, gentlemen, rarely has anything on it or one or two things on it. She does not speak well. She does not work hard. All right, so Kelly, let anyone. me ask you. And she should not be the standard bearer for the party. Yes, sir. She had disastrous staff oh turnover. Oh my God! As vice you just president. made. I, I knew that it was four a.m., but I just looked at. We're six and a half hours in, dude. What? The I fuck? check it on the daily. What Her the public fuck? schedule, gentlemen, rarely has anything on it or one or two things on it. She does not speak well. She does uh, not work hard. All right, so Kelly, let anyone. me ask you. And she. Sh this shit goes by so quick when we're reacting to this stuff. It's cool they've completely given up on appealing to normal people. Oh, I think this is the tweet Mixable was talking about. It's time for Republicans to start talking about Kamala Harris' sexual history and the reason why she likely doesn't have any children of her own. I'm willing to bet she's had so many abortions that, her, that she damaged her uterus. A woman, has no biologic, a, wo a woman has no biological children of her own should not be allowed to make decisions in the White House for your children. Republicans need to run with this message and ask why a woman with no kids of her own and just a scarred up uterus is so obsessed with wanting to kill your babies. Kamala has zero investment in the future, but she wants to determine our future. Like I said, this is wild, and I hope the Republicans run with this because they're going to lose so hard. Do you know how many, like I said earlier, of these like white, like, Midwest women who usually vote Republican voted for Trump are going to hear this kind of stuff? And be like, oh no, I'm I'm gonna like secretly vote for Kamala. I'm not voting for this. So hopefully the Republicans keep running with this. Because like I said, it's not just like liberal women who end up doing things like in vitro fertilization, which is something Republicans are trying to get rid of now. Okay, there it's it's a that's a thing that it, it, anybody who has damaged uh, damaged reproductive system can take part in. It's not a there's not like a like party lines when it comes to that. Okay. Um, and another, yeah, weird way of saying you wouldn't take care of your kid if they were in your own true. Oh, oh, you were cooking that up earlier. There you go. Sounded so dope. 